Merry Christmas from Demich. 2023 has been an amazing year to be a Mario fan. We started off the year with the Super Mario Bros. movie in April, and to end off the year with a bang, we got Super Mario Bros. Wonder, WarioWare Move It, and Super Mario RPG within a month's span. That's not even counting the Divine DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Funnily enough, this random year is way more of a celebration than the official Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary. We got amazing new games. We got a movie. What more could a Mario fan want from this Super Mushroom and Wonder Flower buffet? Oh, I'll tell you. And it's something I've wanted for a long time. Nintendo during the Switch era has been so bizarre about making special editions. They either make some incredible looking ones, such as the ones for Splatoon 3 and Tears of the Kingdom, and even though I despise the game, I won't deny, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet got a pretty cool Switch OLED. But what about Mario, Mr. Video himself, the face of Nintendo, and even the face of gaming? What does he get? Well, I hope you like red! It's so weird. The Joy-Cons have so many shades of red, most made to coincide with a Mario game, but in terms of actual Mario-themed controllers, Nintendo has yet to make one. Let's go back to the Wii era. Nintendo actually made Mario-themed Wii remotes, which still look really cool to this day. They even made some Club Nintendo exclusive Mario-themed GameCube controllers, which I wish I would own, though unfortunately, they're pretty rare. But I wanted something similar for my Switch. As the saying goes, Demich does what Nintendo don't. So I decided to make my very own Mario-themed Pro Controller for the Switch. In this episode of Gator Garage, we'll be powering up a standard Pro Controller and making a Mario-themed one. You'll get to see the process of making it, as well as a review of the controller itself. And stay tuned for the very end for a special Christmas giveaway. When it comes to customizing the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, I've done it quite a few times. I've modded many Joy-Con controllers and systems throughout the years, and I have to say, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is one of the easiest controllers to customize. It only takes about 35 minutes to an hour, but as I always say, it's not a race, don't be in a hurry. Just take your time and be patient because slow and steady gets you a radical controller. The process itself consists of taking apart the controller and reinstalling the components into the new shell. The middle portion of the controller where the analog sticks are, you don't even need to take apart. It's just a matter of replacing the buttons in the front and the back shell. I did a tutorial last year showcasing how to shell swap a pro controller, so I'd recommend checking that out if you customize your controller. As always, Extreme Rate made the Super Mario Pro Controller shell. When it comes to customization, I only use Extreme Rate shells because the quality is the gold standard. Everything from Joy-Cons to Pro Controllers and even a GameCube controller I've modded use Extreme Rate shells. If you want to get your own shells, you can use the code Demich at the Extreme Rate store to get a discount. What's cool about the Mario Switch Pro Controller shell is that it already comes with everything you need to make a Mario themed controller. The controller itself is red and it has blue grips. And the analog sticks are yellow to match the buttons on Mario's overalls, but when it came to the actual face buttons, I did a poll asking you guys which ones looked the coolest. And the overwhelming majority chose the Super Famicom styled buttons, also made by Extreme Right. This is the mod I decided to do for the video. Gotta say, I usually will go for the Super Famicom buttons any chance I get. They really stand out and make any controller look more fun and they feel great as well. For the rest of the buttons, I use the red ones included with the shell, and the black D-pad from the original Pro Controller, and for the LR and ZL and ZR buttons, I decided to use the red from the Extreme Right shell kit. With these buttons specifically, there's a little bit of extra work if you want to add these in, which mainly just consists of removing a rod that attaches the ZL and ZR buttons, and then reinstalling it. This custom controller was so much fun to make, so much fun that even my cat wanted to join in. When I was doing the customization, she kept meowing at my door.
Now, usually I'll always let her in, but if she jumps on my desk, the buttons and parts would go flying, and that would not be a good thing. But regardless, she is just so sweet and adorable. I absolutely love cats. And we're done! We now have a Super Mario Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. In less than an hour, this standard Pro Controller really powered up. Now that we have a Super Mario Pro Controller, it's time to review it. Not only will it be a review of the shell, but also a review of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller itself. When playing the Nintendo Switch, I mostly use the Pro Controller in TV mode, and there are many reasons why. It's the most comfortable and best controller Nintendo has ever made. Honestly, it's my favorite controller ever made for any system. It's the perfect size, and everything feels great. It has buttons that are large and super responsive, and the analog sticks have a great range and are of very high quality. It's weird because the Joy-Cons are notorious for drifting, but the Pro Controller doesn't have the drift issue. There are also many features included, such as gyroscope, HD rumble, and NFC support, so you can scan in your amiibos, and the battery life is incredible. It's absolutely worth getting a Pro Controller rather than just using the Joy-Cons and the grip. I've had one since April of 2017, and haven't looked back since. The Joy-Cons are fine for handheld mode, and of course motion-controlled games like WarioWare Move It, but for most Switch games, you're gonna want something more ergonomic, and the Pro Controller has been my go-to. You can even use it on your PC or other devices like retro handhelds that use Bluetooth controllers. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is a near-perfect controller, but there is one thing that needs improvement. Most of the designs for the Pro Controller are boring. There are some that are cool. I like the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom design, and the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate one is cool as well. But for Splatoon 3, I think we all agree Nintendo could have done way better. And the thing is, the Pro Controller only comes in one color, just being transparent black. Xbox has tons of different color options. Same goes for PlayStation. But for Nintendo, everything is uniform and sticks to a particular format. Having a transparent black housing, sometimes the grips will be different colors if they're special editions, but it all feels just very similar and not very personalized. However, Extreme Rate does have us covered. They offer many different designs, with my favorite being the chameleon green for the Pro Controller. But the Mario shell instantly intrigued me, and I was hyped to do the customization. And once I finished the customization, I was quite impressed. The colors of the Mario Pro Controller are vivid and capture the poorly plumber perfectly. The red itself really stands out, and definitely is that shade of Mario red, rather than that of the neon red with the Joy-Cons. The blue for the grips matches the shade of Mario's blue overalls, and it's not too dark, but also not too light. And the yellow for the analog sticks is a golden yellow, which matches Mario's overall buttons perfectly. They absolutely nailed the Mario design for the Pro Controller, and it looks perfect. But the way the controller feels is perhaps even better than the cool design. For the matte colors, Extreme Rate uses a plastic that feels like rubber. It's a sturdy plastic, but has the feeling of rubber. Many get custom Xbox controllers with rubber grips, but you're getting that increased comfort out of the box with this shell. I've actually gotten matte Joy-Con shells specifically because I love the material Extreme Rate uses. It's called Soft Touch, so if you want that rubberized feeling, make sure the shell has a soft touch plastic. The transparent and chameleon shells use a different material, but they still feel great. The soft touch is my favorite though, and the Mario shell uses it. Not only does the Mario shell have a really cool design, but it makes your Pro Controller even more comfortable if you can believe it. As you've seen here, it's more than possible to customize your Switch Pro Controller, and it's absolutely worth doing. And there are many reasons why. Third-party Switch controllers will often have cool designs, so you might be wondering, why not just go for those controllers? With most of the third-party controllers, they'll lack features such as rumble, gyroscope, and of course, NFC. Now, not having gyroscope is a deal-breaker for a lot of Switch games, but even a controller without rumble isn't one I'd extensively use. Rumble makes a game even more immersive and gives games an extra attention to detail, and without Rumble, you're missing out on that. But when you customize a Switch Pro Controller, all the features are going to be here. 
You're transferring components from a Nintendo-made Pro Controller into a new shell, so you're keeping the gyroscope, HD rumble, and NFC support. The build quality of most third-party controllers is also hit or miss. They often feel cheap, and although they have cool designs, they're not the most comfortable. We have come a long way since Mad Cats, but honestly, the material doesn't feel great on a lot of these still. But with Nintendo's official Pro Controllers, you're getting the best components, and with Extreme Right shells, the quality is outstanding. Combine the two and you have the peanut butter to the salsa of a Nintendo Switch controller. Make that peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and salsa doesn't sound right. You might think it's significantly more expensive to get a Pro Controller and the shell, because Pro Controllers are about 70 US dollars, but what you can do is get a used Pro Controller, and customize that, doubling as a refurbishment, so you can turn a standard Pro Controller into essentially a new one. Unlike Joy-Cons, Pro Controllers will last a very long time by default. You won't have to replace the analog sticks or anything. They are made to last. And this is why customizing a Pro Controller is the best way to have your very own and ultimate Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. That concludes today's super episode of Gator Garage. I am very impressed with the way this controller turned out, and I'd highly recommend getting the shell and doing the customization yourself. But before we wrap things up, I am very excited to announce an Extreme Rate Christmas giveaway. I will be giving away three $50 gift cards for Extreme Rate's store. You can get any customization materials you want, including this Mario shell. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment starting with Dimitri's Christmas giveaway. From there, explain why you'd love to customize your Switch, and I'll be selecting the winners at random at the end of the year. The winner will be announced on January 6th, so stay tuned for that. You have quite a amount of time to enter, and I'm very excited to see how you guys would customize your Switch. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and keep calm and da da on. And most importantly, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.